Toledo's biggest morning news team, WTOR 11. Bigger is better. Thank you for joining us again on Leading Edge. The main topic today, gun violence, gun rights, gun control, all of those things. And we are joined by Tom Urbanski. He's a gun expert and he teaches classes so that people can get trained and they can carry uh, concealed carry licenses. Yep. So thanks for coming in. You're welcome. First of all, what has business been like? What kind of calls have you been getting since this happened over a week ago? Well, uh, I would guess Saturday after the actual incident, I must have received triple the normal amount of calls. I found them on my cell phone. I do the classes all day, Saturday and Sunday, so I had to wait till evening to respond. Not only people buying classes, but people buying gift certificates uh, for loved ones because they're concerned that all of a sudden uh, guns are going to be not available. I'm getting calls for guns, too. Apparently, people misread my ad, and they're calling for strange things like how about an AK-15? Uh, they're apparently not even gun-oriented people. I don't think that exists, right? panicking. Yeah, they're, they're thinking AK-47 or an AR-15. But yeah, everybody's going nuts out there. I took a call uh, five minutes ago uh, out in the lobby, essentially, from somebody looking for an AR-15 because they say no gun dealer hasn't left anymore. You say that people are scared. Are yes. they, most of the people you deal with, are they scared that someone's going to come in and take all their guns away and they'll never, I guess, what are they also wanting the guns for? Well, the problem is, and it's happened now three times, uh, you had the Clinton assault weapon ban, I think that was mid 90s, somewhere in there, uh, people overnight uh, took up all the assault weapons they could buy before the law passed. Uh, you had uh, essentially the, the 2008 election. Uh, people realized it probably wasn't going to be a Republic, Republican in the office. Uh, they immediately thought all Democrats tend to have gun laws and initiate them, the Clinton ban being one of them. So for almost two years, you couldn't find guns on the shelf, let alone ammunition, and that's happened again. Uh, but even with those gun laws, let's say that we get new gun legislation, there's no talk from anyone except true, true way to the left folks that there are going to be any bans on guns. Well, yeah, the difficulty is this whole talk about gun laws. You've got 285 million guns already in the hands of 300 million United States citizens. Any attempt to ban any of those guns, including assault rifles, are sort of a waste of time. You've already let the, the horse out of the barn. Now is not the time to close the barn door. So what people are concerned about, the only viable step to eliminate the gun violence would be to literally try to get back all that 285 million guns. And that's what people are worried about. Now, that has happened uh, in other countries. They've had massive gun buybacks. That's actually, that has worked. Uh, specifically, I'm talking about Australia. I've read a lot in the, in the last you know, week about it, that they, they had a huge problem with mass shootings. Uh, they bought a, bought a lot of gun back, uh, bought tons of guns back, and they're, they still have gun rights, and they still have guns, they don't have the similar problem. Do you think that some of these gun owners would give their guns back, or are they just, I guess it, my, my thing is if they're not going to give their guns back, and they already have them, then they should be You'd think, but a whole bunch of people, well, the, the typical caller that's calling me now are in their 20s. They're not an old fart like me who has had guns for 60 years. They're just getting into it, and they're afraid they can't get a gun or won't be able to get the AR-15 they want or the AK-47 they want if we wait a couple of months because everybody's talking about putting whatever plan into effect very quickly. And it, it's sort of a problem with that whole idea. If you're doing anything as a, an emotional response to the 20 kids that got killed, people who make emotional, emotionally based decisions make mistakes. So that, that new law is frightening people because we don't know what it is and they're just worried that some of their rights are going to be taken away from them so they grab them before the, the government can keep them from getting those guns. Now uh, some politicians including a sheriff here in Ohio have said that we should arm teachers. Yeah. You think that that is uh, As I mentioned in the poll yesterday, uh, if you would have rephrased the term three teachers ran towards the sound of the noise in that school and they ended up getting killed. If you were to change that to three armed teachers ran towards the sound of that gunfire and killed the bad guy, maybe you'd have 15, 20 students that weren't killed. Uh, the only problem with safe zones is the only place that, that 
that C4 is a bad guy to come in and kill anybody they want without fear of getting any sort of, uh, how can I put it, uh, being shot back at. But playing devil, devil's advocate here, yes, maybe in a particular instance, there would be less bloodshed, but statistically speaking, more guns does mean more violence. So maybe in this case, they wouldn't, uh, the person might not have brought a gun, but just guns in a school in general, you don't think that would create more violence? A lot of times people use guns to commit suicide. If a teacher, sure. right, so isn't that the... I can show you cops that have gone nuts and killed sure, people. Sure, exactly. Uh, you'll see articles like that. But on, again, we're reacting to one strange incident or one or two that may occur. But if you've got a, a typical law-abiding citizen that's a teacher and they are well-trained and they know how to handle guns, uh, then them having a gun is a deterrent to somebody coming in that classroom. Uh, now, I saw in the paper today, uh, apparently, uh, we're even thinking about hiring retired uh, law enforcement to put in schools. That's another option. But if the only person that can walk in that door is the bad guy with an intent to kill and he's the only one that's armed, that is a perfect shooting gallery for him without fear of re repercussion. Do you think that the majority of gun owners would support some type of stricter gun legislation, stricter gun training? Well, the training requirement is pretty important. Right now I teach CCW classes. There's 48 states in the union that allow you to carry a concealed weapon, but there's only 24 of them that even require you to be trained. Uh, you can go into L Alabama, Georgia, even states like Indiana, and you don't have to be able to spell gun. And for $70, they do a background check, give you a gun, and if you weren't brought up in a household that used guns, had hunters, had shooters, and you're unfamiliar with them, I had to be three or four years ago, somebody asked me how many CCW holders have probably shot somebody, and I said, I don't know, but I'm guessing 80% of those who ever shot somebody shot their spouse, they shot exactly. their kid, they shot the next door neighbor, showing off the new gun. Do you think, though, that there, would, there might be a middle ground where it's not yes guns, no guns, and, and continue kind of political, very harsh treatment towards each other, that there could be, you know what, this makes sense. You've got a whole bunch of people that are sitting in the middle that are reasonable, but you do have the extremists on both ends of this gun issue, so yeah, you're going to have some pro-gun people refusing to even think about training because that's just one more step that's an infringement on their Second Amendment rights, and, and they're going to fight against it. I think gun, at least gun education has to be done, should be done, uh, but that's still not going to protect you from the guy who goes nuts, who has a gun, who can, right now you can go into any city in the United States, sit down in a taxi cab and ask that taxi cab driver where you can buy a gun, and I bet you even in Chicago, which is the worst gun uh, control laws you'll find anywhere, you'll find a gun within a half an hour. But in, in most other countries, you would not be able to. Well, in most countries you could in the black market. They're not legal, but you can get guns. There are shootings that happen even in England because, believe me, but guns rare. are I mean, I, but, very rare. Okay, yep. so, but you, you do have, you do think that there might be some agreement if the, I'm not going to call them fringe, but if the folks who feel on the extreme of both sides are not part of the... Yeah, you're not going to get either of them to ever agree to something in the middle. They're both adamant against any gun law, and on the other side, they don't want anybody to own a gun at all. You're never going to see that. But look at, look at the option, though. You ban all guns, and that guy still wanted to go kill people. All he had to do was go to a gas station with a bottle of wine and fill that bottle up with ga gasoline and now toss a couple of uh, Molotov cocktails into those classrooms so now you have burning dead kids. But uh, that, so I mean, you're really not going to solve the problem. If somebody wants to kill somebody, they're going to do it by but, whatever But those, those types of incidents do happen much less frequently. So there's, 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 no way, there's no way, I don't think anyone would say we can stop all violence or all mass killings, but I, I do think that, um, I do think that something needs to be done oh, to, to stop If what's it going can on be here. done, but logically it's never been proven you can do something. If you ban guns, they are going to turn to gasoline. I mean, guns are easily available, that's why it's being used now. Uh, you had, what, two students? I got a call today from somebody looking to buy a gun. He told me two students got stabbed last night over at the University of Toledo. 
they're just going to change the weapon of availability. So you ban the guns, believe me, they're going to find some other way to do it. Well, I thank you for coming in and uh, sharing your expertise and your opinion. Uh, certainly this is going to be a topic uh, that folks discuss for weeks and months and years to come. So thanks again.